Brianna, thank you for including us black girls this time. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So, okay, in today's video, I don't even really know what I'm going to call it. It's so noisy outside, what is going on? It's so annoying at this time, everybody wants to be driving. Anyway, so in today's video, y'all already know. So excited, it's the Fenty review. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to call this video, but I sort of wanted to do something different because everyone has a Fenty review up. It's like, it's getting a little, like, old now. I watched a couple reviews, ordered online at Sephora first. All the things that I know I don't need to be matched with, like the lip gloss, the trophy wipe, um, and, um, the sponge. I, and I also went into Sephora and got my, um, two shades, 440 and 430. If y'all want to see what type of craziness I went through, um, just continue watching this video and I'm going to talk about some of my favorite YouTubers, some of your favorite YouTubers, and how I use their advice to sort of sway my decision into buying. And um, I'll see you at the end. <laughs> Let's start off with primer. Okay, the first time that I recorded this, this is, this is the second time because, listen, the first time was a hot ass mess. I'm not using an actual color corrector today because I watched Kelly Sweet. She is one of my favorite YouTubers, even though she's not a beauty guru or whatever you call them. Um, she said that she felt that the um, the stick gives a lot of coverage, so um, you can just use it as a concealer, which you can obviously color correct with a concealer so that is what I'm doing yes so from iris I learned that um, the color correct did not break apart when she put it on um, on, on top of the primer which is what I was like ooh like I usually color correct since my face is very discolored and so that kind of sold me and I love her she her accent is so cute and she's so honest and like carefree foundation Okay, this was my biggest issue because I, when I first recorded, I used shade 430. And that was a bit too light for me. It like blended out nicely in the store, but then I was like, 430 just sounds too light because I am dark skinned and Patricia Bright, I like, I think I'm like her complexion. She used shade 450, so I'm thinking, okay, and she said it was actually too dark, so I thought maybe if I get shade 440 that would be okay for me so because i feel like we're a similar complexion like in the winter that could be my shade but right now don't embarrass don't embarrass me and you see this is more like my shade yeah. i'm afraid that i'm gonna have to go to 450 but like 450 is like sold out everywhere so i also really love jocelyn um she's she's awesome but she she used 450 and it was too dark on her but she really likes going light on the concealer so that's why it sort of evened out for her so and I also did learn something from Naima Naima I don't want to butcher her name but Naima she usually uses the darkest shade she did not like the concealer I mean the brush because she felt that it was just soaking in but she also did this little thing where ooh, she puts dots on her face she literally takes the bottle and so I feel like the amount it is like concentrated and so it's gonna soak in to the brush but I blended it out like I you saw how I just I swiped it on my face and then I went in with the brush and I feel like that worked a lot better ooh finally something that matches I feel comfortable now hopefully like it matches on camera because Sometimes you'd be looking back and it's like the remix. The brush is actually making it a little more difficult to blend than with the sponge. A little bit. I'm gonna go in with the sponge just to um I'm just gonna do one more layer just for fuller coverage. And it, it cleaned pretty well. Like this is um clean. And it does measure up pretty well with the but it's softer, like literally it's softer. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah, you see, I like the, the sponge to blend a little better than the brush. Wow. Mm. <laughs> now let me talk about um, my trio. So I got Truffle. Um, I got Truffle. I got Rum. 
as a highlighter. And then I got Espresso, which is the darkest shade. And I went on FentiBeauty.com to personalize this for me because I do remember watching Jackie Anna's video. And um, she was saying that usually, you know, if you buy a contour set, it's always that one shade, which is very true. It's that one shade that we don't use. So um, this is rum. This is a latte and this is espresso. Well, it's not customizable on Sephora.com, so I didn't do that. Um, so I, I waited to look, sort of see and I went to Sephora to swatch. Um, um, you gotta be careful with this because it is a tug. It's not like a cream. So it's like, you don't want to cause premature wrinkles, which is something I learned from my favorite, Jackie Aina. And I feel like she should be every black girl's favorite. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, so this is very dry, so don't be surprised. It's blending. It's blending. Yes, and also I did learn from Kyra, once again, that if you have wrinkly under eyes, this sort of settles into your wrinkle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we have um, the darkest shade, as Naima loves to say. I really like her. She, her personality is so sweet and like she really represents all dark skinned females. And like I love how um, Jackie Aina really um, speaks up for her because even though Jackie is not um, on the darkest shade um, category, she always speaks up and say, okay, I can use this, but other people can't. And and I and I found myself in that predicament too, and I'm not even on like you know the darkest skin shade category, and I found that I couldn't even use certain products because it was just too light on me, and that's so like depressing to be honest. But oh yeah, I forgot I was supposed to do this fast because I think it it really it's hard to move after a while. So let me just hurry it up. And look at that, it's so dark. So good. It only baked literally under my eye. And I'm seeing creasing already, so I'm just gonna blend it out first and then literally just grab the powder. Yep, and Kyra was right, it does sort of settle in. can't see anything on my face I just realized this is probably not the best <laughs> okay that's probably not the best shade for me but what? trophy wife all right I didn't really like it on my face as like a highlighter alone maybe I loved it on my chest I wore it on my chest um yesterday and everyone was like what is wow your chest is really glowing I, everyone that I encountered said something about it for sure like um and I did like it on my nose so. yeah but y'all see like let me just put some more on my chest because this is like so shine bright. <laughs> like this, this is bright. This is like pow pow pow. Like you know what I mean. So I've got a little shimmer going on there. I love this lip gloss. Like I am a lip gloss person. So Jackie Aina, I did watch her do a lip combo with this and um. I think I figured I'd do the same the chestnut um, lip liner from Mac this is a brown lip liner I'm going to line my lips a little bit and it smells so good and so much comes out with one thumb oh my gosh so that is overall you can't go wrong with with getting at least one thing from this beauty collection I mean the the brush I feel like you could probably do without I really do like the sponge so I'm happy I got that um the foundation I love the foundation like I love it like 
especially this color like thank god and so um the lip gloss is definitely my favorite i'm probably gonna go buy like two more just to have in my house just when this finishes i like trophy wipe actually but i don't like it for my face um i can pass on it with like for my face with my chest and like body glitter i'm like i'm definitely not mad i bought this if i was mad i would have just returned it yeah so that is really it for this video i don't want to be rambling on so much so um, I hope you enjoyed it and definitely, definitely come subscribe to the channel. Like, like let's, let the girls together. And, um, I will definitely see you in my next one, which will be this hairstyle most likely. Um, and so, yeah, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>